All right, Miss Kathy. First sip from the new well at the Steel Magnolia as the storm is moving in. Just like Mama used to make. <laughs> that good? That is amazing, isn't mm -hmm. it? And look, chickens in the background. Well, good morning. This is Travis from the Steel Magnolia. And what you're looking at here is a picture of the four inch well pipe that we put down first. It was a casing and you can see the teeth that we uh, put on the end of the pipe. This is the well head and we'll see more of that a little later in the video. But this was our first attempt. Now we had already dug about six or seven holes and kept hitting debris and could only get down about a foot and a half. So we uh, tried it here and uh, had some success with it. And ultimately we were not able to use this hole because once we got down to uh, 10 feet or was almost at 10 feet, we started hitting an area that was nothing but wood and, uh, and we never could get through it. So after a couple of hours of not moving more than a fraction of an inch, we pretty much give up on it. Uh, so let's take a look at this right here. All right, Travis, fix and turn the water on. Just felt the change in pressure. Whoa, baby! It was kind of interesting watching the pipe jump up as the uh, air and water moved down the pipe and it lifted it. Uh, the reason we're using a four inch pipe here to put down a casing is because we live on the river and we have a whole lot of sand. We also have a whole lot of mud and muck under the ground too. And if you see these chunks of pieces coming up, at first we thought that was clay of some type, but actually it turned out to be chunks of wood as we were grinding through old rotted yeah. material down deep in the ground. You can see here that I'm uh, already down about seven feet and just uh, about another foot and a half or two is where we bottom out and things come to an end. So we ultimately had to move this to several other places and drilled 14 holes before we found one that we could actually get through. Let's move on from here. Hi, right, good morning. It's Travis, Travis and Kathy at the Steel Magnolia, and we're fixing to continue with our well drilling here at, uh, at the house. And uh, a couple of days ago, Tom and myself put down 20 feet of four inch pipe, and you can see it down here, and that's four inch PVC. Because of the amount of sand that we have in the first 10 feet, we decided to go ahead and try to do that. So basically starting now, that gives us a uh, 20 foot head start and uh, we're getting ready to drop 40 feet of pipe down inside of that and we'll start uh, cutting and drilling from there. Let me show you the, uh, the drill bit that we made. This is made with a piece of uh, two inch pipe, cut teeth onto it and, and tilted them both in and out so just like a saw on a regular saw blade it would have something to bite in. Now, because this is gonna be twisting back and forth, we put a set screw in it all the way through here and through that so we wouldn't accidentally unscrew it down below. All right, this is my, my drill head that I made. And we have two hoses that attach to these two points here, garden hoses. So we're getting flow from two different hoses. And fortunately, we have large plumbing here when we put all this in so we get good water flow. Water flows down through the pipe and down to the cutting head. This is a relief point here so we can get air out of the line. It also helps to use to break the suction when you're trying to lift. And also at some point we're going to have to add bentonite to the system and this allows us to open this up, pour bentonite in so we can help reinforce the sides of the well. So we're good to go here. All right. All right. Pipe's fixing to go in the ground. All right, on the front of our house, we have an elevator and the top floor is uh, 13 feet off the ground. So we actually had uh, 40 feet of pipe, drill pipe put together that we were putting into the ground. And uh, okay. so basically all we had to do was get it in the hole and Enough. lower it. Now I would caution anyone not to do anything where you have more than 20 feet sticking out of the ground at any time. And we did run into a little problem with this. 
uh, once we got everything in position and we started turning on the water and getting ready to go, uh, we advanced the water too fast and right. blew the top the off. On. So we blew the, 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 the drill head off the top of the pipe and uh, it was rather entertaining. So let's take a look at what's happening here. Pipe's gonna try to come out of the ground. Spraying at the top. Somebody didn't uh, shut the valve up there. That's true, because if you didn't, you would. Oh! <laughs> you would blow the top off? <laughs> Well, pretty obvious we had a slight malfunction there, but we were very fortunate that the, the drill head did not come completely off. The garden hose actually caught on the top of the pipe. After that, we started putting a piece of tape around both of the hoses and also around the top of the drill pipe so that at least right, we knew we had some again. backup. Got water going to the top. Open at the top. I hear it coming out. You can see here that we had the valve open just, just slightly cracked open. And this time when we turned the water on, we turned it on slow and uh, let it purge a lot of the air out of the line because if you turn the water on really fast and really high and the pipe is full of air, it's going to compress wow. that air and something's going to give. raise the board back up. You can up. see here we took the uh, the drill motor and loosened up our twisting board and uh, we did find that actually the higher the board is the easier it is to work with. You can see how far we've come down considering from where we started from. We had a couple of events where we got the pipe stuck and had to pull it out and start all over again. I see. But we can, Dark what sand? we're looking no, at right here, here is the changes in the pieces. sand. Oh, okay. Uh, we were starting to see the big grains of sand that were coming up, which means we were getting into the water table. It really was sort of an exciting thing when you start realizing that uh, all of this hard work is just about to pay off. Now right here is where we started running into a problem. You notice that there's no more water coming out of the hole there. And uh, what happened when we hit that uh, the aquifer layer where the coarse sand is at, suddenly we lost our upward flow and uh, okay. pretty what much need stuck to the pipe. Water on high? Uh, yes, it was, uh, on high. We did this on two occasions, so we did have to uh, manually hook uh, some timbers to the pipe and uh, using some leverage, pull it out of the ground. Well, we finally got everything done and we did achieve the goal of getting it in the ground. Unfortunately, we did not shoot any video showing us putting the actual well pipe down and pulling all the other parts out. Things were getting busy and the weather was starting to deteriorate around us and uh, so unfortunately we did not get that video. But we can take a look at the end result here. Alright, we finally got the well down as far as we can go and this is all set up temporary just to get everything primed to make sure we were in a good spot. So right now we've got the pump over there just to have it going and we got the discharge pipe going out further in the yard. We're fixing to go out and see what the water looks like. What you got there? Well, guess what I got? We struck water. Yay! Imagine that. What was our depth? 42 feet? Is that right? 42, 42 feet where the tip at. And uh, we measured it out and it's uh, running at uh, 10 gallons a minute, which is very acceptable. 
and uh, it actually only took it about three or four minutes before the water ever cleared. It's been running now about 20 minutes, and uh, again, all the plumbing is temporary right now. The plumbing is temporary right now, but I did want to get a taste of the water, and it smells good. Smell like water? Actually, that is very good water. Uh, I could drink that anytime. Well, I am excited about this. Raymond, you want a swig? Oh, yeah. All right, come on. Raymond, this is cousin Raymond. He was out here helping us. Tastes just like water. <laughs> Miss Kathy, you want a sample? All right, Miss Kathy. First sip from the new well at the Steel Magnolia as the storm is moving in. Just like Mama used to make. <laughs> that good? That is amazing, isn't mm -hmm. it? And look, chickens in the background coming to check things out. It's been an amazing day at the Steel Magnolia. We struck water and uh, good water. So we'll be using that for our garden and for washing cars and for washing the boat. If we need to have a drink, we can. Yeah, I'm ready for a cold drink. Me too. Woo -woo. Well, All it right. was a successful day, and we finished everything up with the well tip at 43 feet and getting 10 gallons a minute out of the little Harbor Freight pump that we were using. We ran it for 16 hours, which was almost 10,000 gallons of water, and everything was still flowing the same, and the water actually tasted better because it didn't have as much of the city water mixed with it. Anyway, it was absolutely amazing. But I do want to give thanks to Mike Willis over at DrillYourOwnWell.com. He has an amazing page that has an endless amount of information. Such a good guy. And uh, I am just most grateful for all the help that he provided. So from the Steel Magnolia, we say thank you. We have water.